if we look at our education from a very early age, we're programmed, we're conditioned into what I call a narrow bandwidth. And that bandwidth is one in which our rational mind is not only no longer our servant, but in most cases has become our master. And most of the time, until we really look at that, we've kind of forgotten that. That's become normal. And the challenge is that, for instance, one big part of this bandwidth that's dominated by the rational mind is that the rational mind wants to reduce everything to certainties. The rational mind wants to control everything. And as you all know better than most people, we are living in an environment where that is less and less possible. So that raises the question, what do we need to do? What do we need to do inside ourselves to move to a bigger bandwidth? And that's really my work. One of the ways to really kind of anchor it even more is we could say that this bandwidth is all about doing. It's doing, 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 fixing, solving. And of course, that's hugely important. What's missing is being. Being. And all high performance in every field is an integration of being and doing. And I'm certain from all the work I do that it's more important than ever that we break the spell of doing. Sometimes that's easy, sometimes it's not so easy. What is for sure is that it takes a very committed practice. One of the interesting symptoms of what I would not only call a very high-performing leader, but most people when I speak to would agree, one of the symptoms is that they very rarely appear rushed, right? So you, you CEOs, you have full diary like all CEOs. But how rushed do you appear? How rushed do you feel? How much can you move through your day being in each thing you do? giving your presence, giving your attention. If you're with someone for two minutes, do they feel, do they feel you're with them? Which is another form of listening. Not that you're thinking about something else or waiting to go to your next important event, but that actually for two minutes you're with them. That's a high-performing leader. And then the implication beyond this, of course, every high-performing leader I know of begins to have a real practice around this. So I would invite you also to reflect. What's your practice and discipline around this? What is your practice around creating space for yourself? Some people do it through exercise. More and more people do it through meditation or walking in nature, it doesn't matter, but what really matters is that you do it, that you free yourself from this bandwidth.